Saints are in second place. Michelle Finn now with the baton. Michelle Finn and Natalia Coatsman in leg three. It's close. Now into the final leg for the United States, Evelyn Ashford. It's going to be close. Irina Sergeyeva. Ashford, Sergeyeva. Ashford is going to win it for the United States. Evelyn Ashford. Irina Sergeyeva of the Soviet Union. Looking good there at the end, but Evelyn Ashford to be called the greatest women sprinter of all time, and those kind of anchor legs may well earn her that title. Well, two of these four on the winning American team ran in the Goodwill Games in 1986, Michelle Finn and Evelyn Ashford. Ashford been one of America's best sprinters since 1975, and all the work that the U.S. team paid off when they had these handoffs here in the race. There you see Eccles putting her hand back, Guidry laying the, the baton right into it. Bev Kearney, their coach of this relay team, worked with them every day. I came and watched them one day. They made a lot of mistakes. Bev Kearney said, this is what makes a team great. But when Evelyn Ashford gets it, as she did, one or two meters in the lead, nobody's going to catch it. In the Olympics in Seoul, she got it two or three meters behind and ran what I thought was the very best race of anybody in Seoul, and that includes Flo Jo or anybody else you want to name. Evelyn Ashford is a performer when it counts. Evelyn Ashford uh, getting a real challenge from the Soviet Union and Irina Sergeyeva and Jamaica finished in third place. And here's the overhead look. And there again, you see an excellent handoff for the U.S. team. What you want when you're doing a sprint handoff of this sort is for the relay baton to move through the zone at top speed. The U.S. team practiced what they called risky handoffs, meaning that they didn't go with the normal visual and audio cues that they would. It would be called safe handoffs. Here they let it all loose. And that's what made the difference here, Bob. Unofficially, a time of 42-47. The official results, United States win.